When you think of ancient megastructures, Japan probably isn't the first place that comes to mind. Typically, Japan's history is linked with samurai legends, Shinto shrines, and peaceful landscapes. Yet hidden deep in forests and rugged mountains, massive stone structures defy our understanding of ancient technology. Some of these sites even rival the precision of stonework found in Egypt or Peru, sparking questions about a lost, advanced civilization buried in Japan's distant past. Join us as we journey through Japan's enigmatic megalithic sites, exploring Mount Nokogiri, Oya Stone Quarry, and other mysteries. Could they be remnants of a forgotten, advanced culture, one that may have thrived before recorded history? Mount Nokogiri saw mountains hidden secrets. Our journey starts at Mount Nokogiri, or Saw Mountain, located in Chiba Prefecture. This site might look like an ordinary quarry, but the precise, smooth rock cuts found here suggest there's more to the story. Mount Nokogiri features towering rock walls with clean, machine-like lines, who perfect to have been crafted solely with Edo period chisels and hammers. How did they manage this level of precision? Some researchers suggest that this stonework may predate the Edo period and could be evidence of an advanced, lost civilization with techniques far beyond our assumptions. Standing before the rock faces of Mount Nokogiri, one can't help but question our knowledge of Japan's ancient history. Could there have been a lost culture equipped with skills that mirror those seen in Puma Punku in Bolivia? Oya Stone Quarry, precision that defies time. If Mount Nokogiri impressed you, the Oya Stone Quarry in Utsunomiya will leave you in awe. The quarry descends over 200 feet into the earth, with floors so flat and angles so precise they resemble modern machine work. The cuts in the Oya Quarry mirror those seen in the Longyu Caves in China, another mysterious site with machine-like precision. Some scholars suggest this could indicate a possible prehistoric connection between distant civilizations. When you stand at the bottom of the Oya Quarry, it's easy easy to imagine it as a forgotten temple from an ancient era, untouched by time. If ancient civilizations had the tools to achieve such precision, it challenges the idea that they were primitive. Perhaps they possessed capabilities we're only beginning to rediscover. Ishino Hoden, Japan's floating stone enigma. Moving on to Hyogo Prefecture, we encounter the Ishino Hoden, a massive tough stone block weighing around 500 tons that appears to float over a small stream. This illusion, which has fascinated people for centuries has earned it the title Floating Stone. Archaeologists place its construction in the Jomon period, though its true origins remain debated. With its sharp lines and unique position, the Ishi no Hoden has led some to speculate that it may have been part of an ancient energy system. Strangely, the water beneath it never dries up, even in droughts, adding another layer to its mystery. Whether the Ishi no Hoden served a ritual purpose, functioned as part of a technological system, or simply inspired awe, it raises questions about the knowledge and abilities of prehistoric Japanese societies. Granite coffins of Asuka, echoes of an ancient engineering knowledge. In Asuka, giant granite coffins lie scattered, their precise shapes hinting at knowledge far ahead of their time. Known as the Ueyama Kofun Tumulus, these mysterious boxes have perfect 90-degree angles, smooth surfaces, and large knobs on the sides, resembling burial containers found in ancient Egypt. Granite is notoriously tough to shape, even with today's tools, making these coffins another marvel of ancient engineering. Some speculate that the knobs may indicate a shared construction method across continents, connecting Japan, Egypt, and Peru through a common ancient engineering knowledge. Were these massive granite boxes actually used as coffins, or did they serve an unknown purpose, perhaps technological or ritualistic? Their presence in Asuka suggests a past where Japan's ancient people held a deeper understanding of stonework than we often realize. Sakafuna Ishi, Japan's oldest map. What if I told you there's a mysterious stone in Japan that could hold the key to an ancient map, possibly revealing knowledge about the world long before it was recorded in history? Tucked away in the Asuka region, Sakafune Ishi is a large boat-shaped stone slab with grooves that have puzzled many for years. Some believe these carvings could be more than just decorative. They might be an ancient map. Researchers like Hiroshi Hayashi suggest the grooves align with landmarks like the Great Pyramids in Stonehenge, hinting that the stone could have been used to track geographical or astronomical data, possibly pointing to important ancient sites. But there's a twist. While some see it as an ancient map, most archaeologists believe it's more likely a ceremonial object, part of rituals from the past. The purpose remains unclear, but the idea that ancient people could have had such sophisticated knowledge challenges everything we thought we knew about them, whether it was a tool for navigation or simply a ritualistic artifact. Sakafune Ishi 
reminds us that there's still so much about ancient civilizations we haven't yet uncovered. The possibility that ancient Japan possessed an advanced understanding of geography or astronomy, even before written history, is a tantalizing thought. So, while the true purpose of Sakafune Ishii remains up for debate, it shows us that there's still so much more to uncover about Japan's mysterious past. The Turtle Stone, Kami Ishii, a relic of myth and magnetism. Located near Sakafune Ishii is Kame Ishii, the Turtle Stone. This unique rock has a legend of its own. If it ever fully turns west, a great flood will engulf Japan. Currently, it points southwest, which locals watch with a mix of awe and superstition. Some researchers speculate that Kame Ishii may be magnetic, possibly reacting to shifts in the Earth's magnetic field. This would mean it could function as a kind of natural warning system, an ancient barometer of sorts. Whether it's myth or science, Kame Ishii captivates visitors who believe it connects humanity and the Earth in a way we're only beginning to understand. Oni no Sekimen and Oni no Manaita, the demon stones of Asuka. Asuka is also home to Oni no Sekimen and Oni no Maneda, two stones tied to local legends of demons. According to lore, a demon once used these stones to wash its face and chop its food. While the demon story adds a supernatural flair, the stone's flat surfaces and odd shapes suggest they may have had ceremonial or ritual purposes in ancient times. Oni no Maneda resembles a large stone table, giving credence to the tale of a demon's gruesome morning routine. The demon stones blend mythology with mystery, hinting that they might have once been part of a now-lost cultural practice in Asuka's ancient civilization. Ishibutai Kofun, Japan's massive stone marvel. In Asuka, the Ishibutai Kofun stands as a testament to Japan's ancient engineering. This tomb, made of giant stone slabs, has a ceiling stone weighing over 140 tons. To put it into perspective, that's like stacking 100 cars on top of each other. Historians date the Kofun to around 250 AD, though some speculate it may be even older. The stones fit together with remarkable precision, reminding some of the great pyramids in Egypt. Could this tomb be the work of an advanced lost civilization in Japan? The Ishibutai Kofun remains an awe-inspiring reminder of a mysterious past, where myths may hold truths we've yet to uncover. Rock Cut Tombs of Kyushu A Connection Across Continents In Kyushu, rock cut tombs carved into cliff sides and hillsides look strikingly similar to those in Egypt, Turkey, and even Peru. These tombs have rectangular entrances and deep chambers, showcasing architectural precision that challenges our understanding of Japan's ancient connections. Scholars have noted the resemblance between Kyushu's tombs and those in distant regions, suggesting that these skills might have been shared knowledge passed across continents. It's enough to make us question whether ancient civilizations were more connected than we assume. The rock-cut tombs of Kyushu hint at a broader world, one where knowledge traveled farther and faster than we ever imagined. Yonaguni Monument, Japan's lost underwater city. Off Japan's Ryukyu Islands lies the Yonaguni Monument, a massive underwater formation discovered by a diver in 1986. This lost city features terraces, pyramid-like structures, and paths, leading some researchers to believe it was submerged around 10,000 years ago due to rising sea levels. Professor Masaki Kimura, who has studied the Yonaguni extensively, argues that it's not a natural formation, but the remains of an ancient city. Yet others insist it's a result of natural erosion. If man-made, it could be one of the oldest known constructions on Earth. Whether natural or artificial, the Yonaguni Monument is a testament to the mystery still hidden beneath our oceans, challenging our notions of Japan's ancient past, ancient artifacts, and otherworldly legends. Japan's history holds stories of celestial beings and strange artifacts that some believe could be evidence of otherworldly encounters. One tale from 1803 describes a strange circular vessel that washed ashore with a foreign woman carrying items with unknown writing, a tale some call Japan's first UFO sighting. Then there are the strange clay figurines made by the Jomon people as far back as 14,000 BCE. These figurines, known as Dogu, bear a striking resemblance to astronauts in suits, sparking theories that they may represent ancient visitors from the stars. These legends and artifacts hint at mysteries that stretch beyond Earth inviting us to wonder what other secrets might be hidden within Japan's ancient past. Japan's ancient megaliths, from Mount Nokogiri to Yonaguni, raise fascinating questions. Are they remnants of a lost civilization with advanced knowledge, or simply examples of human ingenuity preserved in myth? These sites challenge our understanding of history, suggesting a deeper, interconnected past. With their precision, astronomical alignments, and possible technological purpose, Japan's megaliths connect to other global wonders. Were they created by a forgotten civilization
civilization, extraterrestrial influences, or ancient people with forgotten skills. Japan's hidden megaliths invite us to explore endless possibilities, reminding us that the past is far more mysterious than we realize. If you're intrigued by these ancient mysteries, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss out on more captivating explorations. Join us as we continue to uncover the secrets of history's hidden wonders.